Now, let's take a look at this case. This one is defense attorney goes in on judge. <laughs> what? Hakeem Robinson, AKA Jackson Phil rapper Kazoo, is accused of killing Adrian Gaynor, AKA Bibby, in February 2019. Pre-trial, uh, the state's attorney asked the judge to allow them to get a scan of K. Sue's body to match it against a dash cam video that recording that recorded the shooting death of Lil Buck. K. Sue's attorney argued against allowing the body scan. So basically what this is, is there's two rappers that are fighting, okay? Or a couple, there's a whole bunch of rappers that are fighting. One shot the other one, but it was caught on dash cam footage that was probably not super clear, but they're looking to do some type of scan so they can confirm that this was the guy that did the shooting. Now the attorney of the guy that supposedly shot the other guy does not want this footage to get out. So she has to fight tooth and nail to not let the judge admit this into court, okay? But keep in mind, this is interesting because you know, the attorney, but she is defending a potential killer. So this is the prosecutor trying to get that body scan so they can put this guy away. So here it is. Here's the lady, okay? Oh, Judge Tatiana. I like that. That's a good, I like that. Judge Tatiana. Wait, what would your name be? I, wait, would I be Judge Bose? I don't know. It'd either be your first name or your username. Do you have a good judge name? We normally hate defense attorneys, but I know that you guys like I know you guys love to see a badass female attorney and Tara does not want her client to get scanned and she's about to gaslight the f out of everybody, okay? If, if Mr. Cooper is coming to this court to ask to do some form of testing to determine the height of Mr. Robinson, because that is what I've deduced out of everything that he has just said right now. Well, Why would you come and on the length of his arms and the length of his legs. Why wouldn't you come in and ask for an x-ray? And then we'd have an independent radiologist take a scan of his body, an x-ray, and then determine the, the, the lengths of those extremities. Yo, even, dude, even the guard knows. You guys see him shaking his head over here? Even the guard knows that, that that's not that how this works, sister. He knows. This is straight up gatekeep gaslight <laughs> group. That, that seems to be an argument of our method as opposed to data. And wouldn't you agree an x-ray then subjects Mr. Robinson to radiographic waves Tatiana about to fight. otherwise be subjected to with a digital scanner? Your Honor, the position that we are taking, and this is a problem, when the, when the state cites to DNA, cites to fingerprints, cites to all those things, these are things that have been deemed reliable, reliable in the court system through decades. This company was incorporated in March of 2020 when the pandemic began. They have never testified in any court. She's, di she's discrediting the company. One case in any state in the United States of America or in any federal case that allowed a digital scan of a body to then be introduced to determine the height of the uh, of our client. Guys, okay, hold on. Let's talk about this. Do you guys remember that guy on TikTok that could guess anyone's height just by looking at the objects around them? Confirming a suspect's height with the accused is so important. That's a no-brainer, right? Like, we all know that that is important. And so what Tara is trying to do here is... A, she's doing a great job of injecting a lot of emotion into this and making you focus more on the emotion rather than what she's saying because we all know that we need that body scan. <laughs> but she, she, she going off. And then her second point to this was the company that the prosecution is looking to scan or maybe it's the equipment, the body cam footage, or the, not body cam, the equipment that the dash cam footage is from. She's saying that that company has only been around since 2020 and they were created during the pandemic and they've never testified in court, so why would we use this company now? She's saying this company's not legitimate, and I mean like, she come in with points. She come in with points. They're not right, but she come in with points. And Your Honor, to raise another thing too, how do we know that this digital scan doesn't subject him to some other form of radiation or anything that you would suggest? Uh, um, okay, bad point. So, so here she is, she, she almost comes out with that good point. She's like, 
why should we trust this? It's also really important to know your audience is here too. Now, if she was dealing with a judge that was like 80 years old, oh my God, it would be a great point for her to hammer in. We shouldn't trust this technology. Why can't we just take an old fashioned picture? What's wrong with measurements? Ooh, if the judge was 80, that would be a great angle here. But Tatiana, she's a little bit younger, probably a little bit brighter. She knows that they need this digital scan. And normally, judge, we don't object. We didn't object to the DNA. We didn't object to fingerprints because those are reliable, judge. And if this was reliable, I would have no problem because you know what? Mr. Robinson is innocent and it would prove his innocence. It, sorry. But the issue that I'm having in this case is how this says investigation has proceeded that I do not trust the mechanism with which the state's attorney's office wants to take his measurements in this case. I just don't trust it, judge. Well, I understand your position. The, dude, I don't know. Guys, what do you think would have been a better angle for her here? Like, I think that if she had just gone with the, look, judge, I looked into this company. They've only been around since 2020 and they've never been used in court. This is ridiculous. Like, why don't we just go with some, if she had just said that, like, she literally just said what I said, but over five minutes. And when you have to like, when you're not giving any new information and just like going and going and going, like people are going to tune out and it's going to seem like you're trying to manipulate them. So keep it short and sweet. And I think she should have just said that and it would have been good. She's throwing all she got, no chill. Right now, it's simply a motion to compel evidence from the defendant. And as you stated, if these digital scans show Mr. Robinson at 6'2 or 6'3, if anything, that would probably support the defense position would be perhaps exculpatory evidence. Yeah, that that's another thing too. The judge fucking knows. If your client didn't do it, then you would want him to be scanned, right? This is a new thing. So they don't have any precedent to ask for this. And due to, it's almost like we are then saying, oh, do what you can to Mr. Robinson and we'll argue about the reliability of the scientific uh, nature of these scans. Nah, dude. All right. One in the chat if Tara is winning. That's the attorney. Two in the chat if Tatiana is winning. Also, I didn't expect to have a badass judge in this. I just thought that Tara's whole thing was funny. Look, I'm gonna let y'all vote real quick, and then I'm gonna tell you, I'm a two. <laughs> I'm a two. <laughs> Tatiana, my beloved. <laughs> I hate to interrupt, but ask a question. I, I think that this may clarify one thing for the defense. Okay. Oh my gosh, she looking pissed. It, she said, "Bring the it." The computer generated. This is not a lot of Hollywood that an actor will be will be scanned and then used for animation. So the question that I would ask to the government through the court is that with these scans, will there be an attempt to then recreate the commission of the crime with the data from the body scan? You mean to create like an animation using the defendant's dimensions? Is that what you're saying? Correct. It's done in that's, CGI. That, as well too. That's, a, that's such a bad idea. People, it's true. People do not trust technology. That's such a bad idea. He shouldn't do that because she can poke a hole in that. They sure. scan, scan the body. This is not Hollywood, and that would be, <laughs> that would certainly require a ruling by me to even <laughs> allow that to happen. These computer generated animations are few and far between, I get admitted, either in criminal or civil trials, quite frankly. But I'll ask Mr. Cooper then is, is that the intention of the state? Let me see. I want to see if it gets approved. Computer generated Oh my god. Using the defendant's dimensions that might be gathered from a digital scan to recreate the homicide. No, Judge, it's the state's intention to ascertain his height and the body dimensions as I previously described. And then once we have that information, compare that to the information that is on the That's fair. Video of the dash cam. Chat. It's a hundred percent fair for the court to take it to take a, a scan of his height and oh come on. Uh, Judge Toddy did allow that piece of evidence into court. Let's go see if he was convicted. I can't, uh, oh, no, 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 this trial's still ongoing. Yeah, 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 it's still, this one is still ongoing.